I'm Adil Kumar. I've taken up few applications on Euclid's division lemma. Normally, we use this for finding HCF. So I've still kept that heading. However, the question is different. Well, the question here is, use Euclid's division lemma to show that the square of any positive integer is either of the form 2m or 2m plus 1 for some integer m, right? So that is the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now let me begin with Euclid's division lemma, which states that a is equals to bq plus r, right? Where r is greater than or equal to 0 and less than the absolute value of b, right? Let me write b for the time, right? We should write absolute value of b. Okay, so it has to be a positive number if r is greater than 0. It is less than some positive number b. Okay, so when we talk about something where we want 2, so, so let me take the number such that uh, let's say let let b be equal to 2, right? In that case, what happens? If b is 2, I could write a equals to 2q plus r. Now, r could be greater than or equal to 0 and less than 2. And that clearly shows that r could be equal to 0. It could be equal to 1 but it cannot be 2 since it is less than 2 right so that gives you two cases to work with we have case 1 and case 2 case 1 and case 2 case 1 is for let us say r equals to 0 and case 2 is for r equals to 1 is it okay then we'll continue with this uh, preposition which is a equals to 2q plus 0 and in this case a will be equals to 2q plus 1 correct we are interesting interested in finding square of any positive integer right so let's square both sides let us square both sides okay uh, we'll do them separately one by one so what do we get here so zero is there so we have a square equals to 2q whole square or we get a square equals to 4q square now I can take two common I can take two common so within brackets I get 2q square a square so what are we trying to say here that the square of any integer a and b are any integers I mean in this case since we are talking about integers positive integers what we are saying here is that a square is twice some number we can write this as twice m since m is what we took right twice m where m is equals to 2q square so we have proven that if r is 0, then the square of any integer is twice any other integer, right? Now let's look into the case 2. So we have done a part of it, that is at least one part we have shown. Here also let's square both sides. When you square both sides, you get a square equals to 2q plus 1 whole square or a square equals 2. So we'll apply the formula a plus b whole square, right? Let me write down the formula here. If I have a plus b whole square, it gives us a square plus 2ab plus b square, correct? So we get a square, a is 2q, I mean 2q square plus twice 2q times 1 plus 1 square. So we can write this as a square equals 2. 4q square plus 4q plus 1. Now I could take 2 common, right? I can take 2 common and write rest inside a bracket. 
So we get 2q square plus 2q and keep one aside. Now here we could write this as let 2q square plus 2q be any other integer. So we could say 2m plus 1. You get it. 2m plus 1. Correct? And so we could prove that square of any number is twice another number plus one. Do you get it, an idea, right? So that is how you could do it. Now here is a question for you. On the similar lines, you could actually say that this could be a 4m plus one, correct? This could be, you could have taken four also common. Do you see that? you could have taken four common. So we could actually change the question a bit and we could make it 4m or 4m plus one, correct? So that way also, we'll have to take four common here, four common here, and all other things will remain the same. So likewise, you could do it. Uh, 4m, now we can change the question also to instead of squares if we have cubes then what are the options that could be another question based on similar lines i'll provide you with the solution of that one also i hope you understand and appreciate it thank you and all the best